Tournament time continues between Northview and Bowling Green with two on for the Bobcats. Hannah Seller, sack fly, drives home Samantha Trimpy for the early BG Bobcats lead. Tied at one, top of the second with two outs. Wildcats Alyssa Beerhard, blooper, finds the green grass. Kaylin Eckel crosses home for the lead. Bottom of the inning, BG fights back. Kylie Kobecki, the freshman, barrels the tying solo shot, but Northview would rally, leading 5-2 to two here when Sophia Del Signor adds to it with the two RBI single. Northview, the 10 seed, upsets 8 seed BG 8-4. That is the winning score as they advance to the next round. We just really have been coming together these past two games as a team. Um, our bats have come alive a lot. I throw a lot of movement pitches. I'm definitely not going to blow it past somebody. I just don't have the speed for that. But if you keep moving around the plate, I just trust my defense and they'll make the plays. All these girls have really stepped up this year. Even the freshmen, like they're definitely taking on a leadership role. Everybody plays a key leadership role on this team. Playing a key leadership role for us in the booth, Mason Lowry and Dwayne Lanham. Well, in our brief pregame conversation with Northview's head coach, Nick Chipetta, he did say one thing to us that stood out. He said, gosh, I hope our defense shows up tonight. They did in a big, big way. Yes, they did. And as you interviewed Omi earlier in our conversation, she's not one that's going to blow up by anybody. And mm -hmm. she only had one strikeout, but that defense played just solid behind her. Yeah, Kennedy Omi came out of the dugout to pitch the last five innings, and she threw an absolute gem. She throws with a lot of movement, doesn't have a great deal of speed. That movement really bamboozled Bowling Green all game long. In fact, we didn't see a ball hit out of the infield against her until the seventh. Yeah, she just kept it moving left, right, changing speeds, doing what she does best. And she knows what she can do, and they were off balance the whole game. It's a really interesting Northview softball team because they are almost entirely underclassmen. They've got two junior pitchers, a senior catcher, everybody else, freshmen and sophomores. Seven of their starters today were freshmen or sophomores. You knew when we saw them at the beginning of the season they weren't going to be the finished article, but they are really trending in the right direction right now. Yes, they are. and They've got great coaches with Nick and with Liz Smith and with uh, Emily Marsh, and they just know how to bring a team along. And they knew what they were facing with a young team, and they still played a tough schedule, and now it's paying dividends. Big win here for Northview to extend their playoff run into the next round. 